Hello, it's Frank again. We're going to talk about compressor this time, which is the engine of your airbrush system. You don't want anything to happen to it. So, what we use here for airbrushing tattoo is a small single piston compressor. Right here, you can see this is the gauge. This controls the pressure, and this is the water trap. We'll have the water moisture trap inside here. This is a little knot there. You push it up, the water will get released. Okay? And this is a thread of one eighth of inch that directly connect to your airbrush hose. Now here's another device if you notice right here this is a pressure and thermal sensor it controls your motor if your compressor gets too hot it will automatically shut down your motor and you will not be able to use it for two, three, two, two to three hours and after the uh, after the compressor is totally closed down okay right here it's a button for you to turn on the compressor. This compressor has manufactured setting at 60 psi, so which means if you turn on the compressor, the pressure will reach to 60 psi and it will stop. Okay, so this is how you can see this is the highest you could digest. You can read from here. It's about 60 psi here, okay? So that means if you airbrush start using the compressor, it drops the PSI setting, your compressor can automatically pump the air into your airbrush. Okay, till it reaches to 60 PSI, it will stop. However, you could change that manually by dialing the gauge. How do you do that? Is you pull this one up counterclockwise, will reduce the pressure. Just, you might have to do a few passes till you reach. Now you can see it's going down. Give it a bit push and see. All right. So compressor is down. So it stops at 30 psi now. Okay. So that's how you adjust your pressure setting. You're gonna push this down to lock it. Now, when you spray. When you set it at 30 psi, when you continue the spray, you can see it stops at 20 psi now. This is actually your true pressure. So if you continuously to spray, and your pressure on your airbrush is about 20 psi. Okay. So when you mix the paints and use with your air pressure, they actually work in the ratio. So if you have a thinner paints, you could use. Uh, lower pressure to spray it out. If you have a higher pressure and you could spray out a more thicker paint. So sometimes when you mix your paint you want to put into consideration with how much pressure you're gonna use. Okay, that's one thing to to think about it. Um, another thing about is overheating problem with all the small compressors. If you use for a long period of time your motor gonna run hot. So your thermal sensor here has a job to kick in, is to protect your motor, so it will shut down your motor and you will not be able to use it for a period of time. So it's really important to keep your compressor um, cool down. So the best thing to check is you don't have any air leakage, okay? Here, I'm gonna give you an example. Right here, I untightened the hose, so I have some leak from my air hose and line. Okay, that caused my compressor continuously to pump. It will never, it won't stop. So if you keep doing like this for a period of time, and your compressor is going to overheat. So the first thing you want to check is make sure there's no leak from your air hose, your airbrush, and your compressor. Okay. Secondly, you want to look after is you don't want to put this compressor under the sun or a very small enclosed space. So the sun will heat up the compressor and keep the temperature raising. Um, and if you put it in the enclosed space, the compressor has no place to e evaporate the heat. So sometimes we'll build up more heat. So you want to look after that. And another thing you want to do is um, you want to keep your compressor stay from water. You don't want water damage because it's electrical. You will get electrical shots. Just be careful about that. Um, let your compressor work about two to three hours. You want to take a little nice small break to let the compressor cool down. So it's always good to have two compressors and take turns if you take a long gauge. 
seven, eight hours. And for each compressor, it's recommended to have continuous working load about two to, two to three hours. If you put your hand on the compressor and start to feel the heat too much, and that's the time you need to let your compressor cool down a little bit. Okay, so that's all we have to worry about the compressor for now.